when the big gals, you know, live bait and walleyes are not going to go away. It's going to be a factor in walleye fishing all the time because it works. But there's more to walleye fishing than dragging a live bait rig with a red-tailed chub, putting a leech under a bobber, or pulling a spinner with a night crawler. It's time to change the game. Get involved. Try something different this year. Get in, into doing something you never did before, and it's going to change your entire outlook on walleye fishing. And it's going to change this sport, and you can be a part of the change. It's time to move the needle. Start growing the sport of walleye fishing. And uh, the only way we're going to do it is we gotta get, we've got to get people fishing more things in more ways and get the creative genius of these walleye anglers doing more things with soft baits on delivery systems. And taking, a look, <laughs> and taking a look at what's happening on Target Walleye. Definitely. <laughs> Big things are happening every day in the world of walleye fishing and for a long time no one ever heard about it, but uh, we're here to change that. You're giving away everybody's secrets. <laughs>got some weight to it. I'm gonna need a net on this one, bro. Oh, yeah. Real good fish. Look at, look at, oh, she looks so nice. Oh, man, in that she clear water. She looks so nice. Wow. You know, you and I got a tour tournament together at the Lund Mania this year. I hope we can catch a whole bunch of them this size really no good. No doubt. I would take that. that all day. Yeah. Ooh, uh, yeah, she's a little bit skinny, Brett, but not not bad, boy, she was fun. It's fun, it's early in the year and I'm pop jigging something I love to do. Boy, did that fish eat that thing, huh? Look at that baby, huh? A little bit on the thin side, she's just coming off the spawn, that's for sure. You know, walleyes like this in many parts of the country, especially in the upper Midwest or in Canada, are the fish of choice for many, many people. Many of us love our walleye fishing, and we like to eat them on occasion too, and that's a, 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 a good, good thing. You know, today, I'm with Brett McComas, and we want to talk a little bit about the state of walleye fishing in North America today. Now, he knows a whole lot about it, because 24-7, he eats, sleeps, and drinks walleye because of his job. He's the man behind Target Walleye. And he talks to people all over the country about walleye fishing. He possibly has more contacts and knows more about walleyes than anybody I know. And that's the truth. It's gonna be a fun day, bro. Oh, man, I pinch myself every single day that a guy can uh, read about, write about, talk about walleye fishing and get paid for it. But don't tell anybody that I said this, I would do it for free. That fish bit on a hair jig, nothing else on it. You know, one of the tendencies or trends that we're seeing in the world of walleye fishing today, and we did that survey uh, uh, that went out, huge population of walleye anglers are uh, uh, using artificial baits more than ever before versus live baits. The trend is in artificials, hard baits, varieties of different kind of jigs, all kind of soft bodied concoctions on the back of jigs, different ways to, to, to fish them. And in the last few years, I've been doing a lot with just a plain old hair jig. Hair jig's been around a long, long time. But uh, uh, I started fishing them aggressively, just like you would uh, a jig and wrap, you know, with nothing on it. Uh, this is a BMC hair, hair jig. They did a great job on this, quarter ounce. And I'm fishing it just the way it is. And this is really becoming a new bag of tricks for me. I can reaction bite these fish by working it so fast and and you don't have to mess with bait I don't have to keep thinking with the, nothing wrong with soft plastics we got them on here and they catch fish but you can catch so many fish when that <laughs> bite is right it's just another one of those 
trends, I guess you'd call it, trending. Yeah, we ran that survey on Target Walleye and found out that out of our 100,000 subscribers, 75% of them used artificials 50% of the time they were fishing. That's a huge, huge blow up of artificials over live bait because just a few years ago when we ran the same survey, it was something like 20%. And uh, I mean, it catches more and bigger fish in my opinion, but to get guys to you know pry that minnow bucket out of their hand and get them to put down those leeches and minnows and bobbers and stuff and pick up something that looks like you're bass fishing is, is easier said than done. Really, it's like anything you do in life, you need that confidence day to show you that, hey, this works, I can catch fish on this. And uh, you know, if I was gonna tell someone how they can start using artificials more, if you're going out and you're having a banner day on live bait, grab that jig and wrap, grab that boot tail minnow, throw something in there that, uh, you know, maybe is out of your comfort zone, stick a couple fish on it and you will realize that it works and it works really well. This segment is brought to you by Big Bite Baits, designed to bring the big bite to your line. You know, tournaments drive a big part of what people use. And in the walleye world, recently, a number of the major tours that have been on, uh, the winners of the Angler of the Year at the end of the season, never used live bait. Yeah, 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 you know, it's, it's been all artificial. That's a good thing, that says a lot. That's the confidence that they had and then other guys are saying, wait a minute, and, and I gotta grow, I gotta try this stuff. And it works, it's, it's back to all you gotta do is get bit on it. And in many cases, yes, it does outfish live bait lots of times, not 100% of the time, but a lot of times. Yep, artificials have made their way into the walleye tournament world. But what about an artificial only tournament? Well, one such tournament had its inaugural event this year. Believe it or not, it was put on by Classic Bass. Classic Bass has been running the very successful Champions Tour Bass Tournament for years. There was so much interest from walleye fishermen that they organized the first ever catch, record, release, artificials only walleye tournament on Millax Lake last September. The anglers definitely loved it, and I believe this style of tournament could, or maybe it should, be the future of many walleye tournaments. We just finished the weigh-in for the first inaugural event for walleye fishing in the country, utilizing catch, record, release technology. It's changing the game, it's changing the industry. This event is intense. Let me tell you, if you've never fished one, it's something to do. It's literally the most stressful game in the sport right now going. And when you really think about what the potential is of this and walleye fishing, it's incredible. We went with no live bait. This is all artificials only that the guys are catching these fish with. Our winner today caught 67, almost 68 pounds of walleyes today. Immediately caught them, immediately released them. It's changing the game, and the Champions Tour is proud to be a part of that event. Get like a smallie actually. Dude, that thing just whacked it. I thought it was a smallmouth. Oh, that's because you see where she's hooked. When you're fishing aggressive uh, triggering baits like jigging wraps or ripping wraps and uh, a snap jigging like this, it isn't rare to hook a fish under the mouth on the side of the face. You know, as soon as they go to, to hit the bait and, and flare their lips, even salmon, all of a sudden you pop the rod and you catch them here, you catch them there. <laughs> A day of fishing like this that happens with some regularity. <laughs> and I have a feeling they're only gonna get bigger. Got it. Yeah, another walleye. Ooh, bigger fish. Not, not, not a giant, but not bad. Not a giant, but not bad. Want the net on this guy? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll take that. Nice fish. Yep. Just swing her to me here. Oh. All right. That one, I just made, made two casts with a, a boot tail on a moon eye jig. 
and just started rolling it over the rocks. It's a big, a big bite. Let me show you the artificial baits. When we're talking about artificials, casting artificials, not trolling baits that are a different bait than the casting baits that we use. Let me show you some of the artificials that have really grown in popularity that are catching a lot of walleyes. The, the jig style type baits that are trending. The jig has been one of the most universal walleye catching lures ever designed. They can be fish shallow, deep, and in between. Fast or slow, and fish rarely let it go. The VMC Moon Eye Jig is one of our favorites for rigging soft baits. The aspirin shaped head makes this bait dart and dance in a water column, and fish love it. The VMC Bucktail Jig can be fished with or without a trailer. Often in shallow water, you can fish this jig and trigger a fish to bite just the way it is. This jig works its best in cool to cold water situations. The VMC Hot Skirt Jig can be rigged with soft plastic or live bait and has a tendency to work best in stained or dark water situations. Oh, good one, Brett. Good one. Oh, yeah, this, this is a netter. This is a, a, a netter for sure. The Edge is presented by these and other fine sponsors. Oh, good one, Brett. Good one. Oh, yeah, this, this is a netter. This is a, a, a netter for sure. For sure. <laughs> Ooh, it feels so good. This is one of the really big dogs. Walleye fishermen just love to see that rod tip go thunk, thunk. Dunk. That that means that's a big fish. Oh huh? man, good good one. Look at the back on that thing. Uh, look at that baby. That's a, a horse and a half, huh? <laughs> Dancing in that clear water for you. Yeah. Come here, baby. Oh, not ready. Oh, <laughs> she didn't oh, like that. She didn't like that at all. That felt so good. That's what makes walleye walleye fishermen's yes. heart beat. Wow. Uh, if you're a walleye fisherman. Your heart was just beating there when you seen that fish come up. You feel that big old head. Yeah, you, you know, you feel that head shake. And you know, you can almost tell that it's a really, really big one. You, you feel that head, it goes whoosh, whoosh. And you could tell that it's a big mama when they're doing that. Huh? Oh, that felt safe. She's a nice, healthy one, ain't it, Brett? Oh, gorgeous. Look at that. That's a beauty. That one's going to make the next Target Walleye email. <laughs> I love it. I haven't been on Target Walleye for a little while this year. Okay, I'm going to release her. Okay, Mama. Another trend, and I guess trending is the, the right word, when uh, uh, something starts getting real popular in the fishing industry, uh, you get a lot of people targeting it. Play on words, target, target walleye. Okay, no, no pun intended. A lot of manufacturers make specific product for the walleye. This happens to be a St. Croix Icon rod. And uh, they got a whole series of different kind of rods for different uh, presentations in the Icon series. When it comes to uh, open face spinning is a big part of walleye fishing. For live baiting, jigging, a lot of different things. Daiwa has come out with a, a whole series of new spinning reels. Uh, uh, they call them LTs, uh, light and tough, smaller, compact. Most of my walleye fishing is done with a few ago, and uh, that's my, my, my choice, either a 2,000 or 2,500. And this line, I want to talk a little bit about the line. There's been nothing for many years that's changed in a monofilament fishing line. This is Suffolk's Advanced Mono. It's the first time in years. This is a mono that, now listen, it's sensitive, low stretch, and very abrasion resistant. This is a monofilament that has features of uh, a fluorocarbon, but fishes like a mono. Isn't that slick? It's not like a, a slinky coming off your reel. So, and they're targeting the walleye market particularly. A lot of the manufacturers are. So that means the growth and interest, you see that on target walleye, uh, uh, where all of our partners 
they all have a product or two or three or four that they're directing specifically toward you, somebody that loves to walleye fish. Brad, I think we had a motor around again. That, that school of fish is further out there. Snoop around by that waypoint and then out towards the tip yeah, of it? Yeah, I just kind of wander along this side, see if you see anything else out there. And let's look a little. You know, a major difference between uh, a lot of bass guys and walleye guys is the amount of time that us walleye guys spend driving around looking at graphs and electronics, figuring something out, because you can be so much more efficient cruising around looking for fish and not fishing until you know that you're on them. It's just insane. Like to be able to right now see where we have fished. I know that this waypoint is right on a big boulder. I'm gonna hang a left here and see if we can't get over them again. To use depth highlight and figure out that, okay, these last few fish have been in 17 to 18 feet of water. I'll dial in that depth highlight and it, voila, shows you every spot on the lake that is that key depth and we are on fish right now. They didn't move too far. <laughs> I'm gonna spin back around. Real big one on the graph right now. Yeah, so big it might be a muskie. <laughs> got him, got him, good one. Boom, oh, right, Brett, good fish. A good one. Here, I'm gonna pull her this way. Is that okay? Ready when you are. She's one of the big gals. It seems to be a trend with you, man. The Edge is presented by these and other fine sponsors. Hang on. Oh, wait till I show you this sucker. <laughs> <laughs> awesome I missed fish. that other one back there. There's a bunch of fish on this break, that's for sure. Snorting up pinchers. Yeah, wow. Look at that. Look at that, huh? One of the coolest things oh. that you see with social media now is you can learn to do anything online, whether you YouTube it, check out Target Walleye on Facebook, cruising on Instagram. You can see what other people are using right now. Sometimes it's live, and man, it's really opened up a just a whole new world of techniques and just constantly improving as an angler. You know, until Target Walleye came on the scene, I never truly realized how many really big fish are caught in so many different bodies of water all over the US and Canada. Every issue, we got big, giant, giant fish uh, on there from so many different places. There was never a vehicle that really told us ab about this on a regular basis. I mean, that's something that shocked me. How many of them big monsters are there? Right, it was even an eye-opener for me, and I'm cruising around for content every hour of every day, but who would have ever thought you could go catch walleyes in Virginia or New Mexico? Or you see a picture of a big 30-inch walleye and the backdrop is snow-capped mountains and they end up there in Utah. I mean, it's absolutely incredible. And one cool thing about uh, Target Walleye is we don't just show the picture and say, hey, look at this big fish. We say what it was caught on, what specific bait, what presentation, you know? And if you can see what's working other places and duplicate it back home, it's pretty, uh, pretty incredible. Oh, got him. The big fish again. Do you know how to catch little ones? Oh man, that's a good one. Come here, baby. Come on, oh oh yeah. yeah. Oh man, she's a monster. Good thing I've got my uh, net practice in today. She's a monster. Thick, healthy one. Yeah. Yeah, my baby. Yo. Ow! <laughs> oh, she didn't like that. I, I, I jigged while she jogged. <laughs> Look at this. Nice fish, Al. Look at that. They really are liking it. But man, that's some. I love this. I love fishing like this. I love it. <laughs> Nothing is more enjoyable than feeling that kathunk, kathunk. Once you start catching them on, on jigging wraps or ripping wraps or jigs in plastic and, and stuff like that, you're, you're hooked. Bass fishing Once for you walleyes. Once you get hooked, I, I mean, it is so much fun. So much fun. 
You know, because of the way I closed this show and had from the beginning of Angling Edge and Fishing Edge going on the air with a little in inspirational close, people send me a lot of different books to read, and I love it. I love it. You got some, send them to me. I'll read them. Here's two that I really, really enjoyed. You can see I got them tabbed pretty good. Devotions from the Heartland 1, Devotions from the Heartland 2. This is real life stories from real people like you and I that live in a world. Construction workers, uh, uh, do uh, doctors, painters, fishermen, uh, 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 you name it, any different kind of career. And these people have shared an individual thing that has happened in their life based on God's word that has had a major impact on them. And it all goes back to the Bible. Now this is interesting to me. So many people think that the Word of God, and I believe the Bible is the inspired Word of God, is only for people in the full-time ministry. I mean, you got to be in a full-time ministry to really be into the Bible and know what it know what it's all about and, and, and to share the truth. And that is true, true. But you know what? This book isn't only for people in a full-time ministry. This book is for everyday people just like you and I. It's God talking to you. You get into it, you will hear from him. That's how he communicates in so many ways with us. These testimonies are phenomenal. And I love testimonies because it's real people with real life experiences talking about the power of God's word and how it changed their life. If you've never been in this book, I want to encourage you. Go to the New Testament, read the New Testament, read Proverbs, re re read Psalms, uh, uh, forget the Old Testament to start. That's a different covenant. We live under what is termed the New Testament. This is the laws of God that we live under. And uh, uh, it's all good. You'll, ha uh, you'll understand how God thinks. You'll understand why these miracles have happened to everyday people that are walking the street, that you're seeing in the malls, that you're seeing in the food stores. They're sharing their testimonies on how this book has changed their life. And it'll do the same thing for you if you look at it with an open mind and start to seek the truth. I promise you it will. Hey, from all of us here at The Edge, have a good fishing season. We'll see you on the water.